So this is how you drop a grade on Frontline. Once you sign into Frontline, you should be able to see this home screen. If not, go ahead and click home. Once you do, you're going to click on maintain teacher gradebook category. At the top, you're going to choose which class period you want to work with. I'm going to choose first period. I've already changed all my other ones, but I wanted to show this as an example. So when you click on first period, you see your two categories, assessment and assignment. I want to drop my lowest assessment grade. So what I'm going to do now is where it says drop low, I'm going to put the number one. This means I want to drop one low assessment grade only. I'm going to save the option. Prior to dropping the grade, you can see that this particular student had a 67 average. The purple are the assessments in my class. She had a 73, a 50, and a 75 on her assessments. Based off of this, the 50 is the grade that should be dropped. After going into the gradebook category area and adding one for dropping the lowest assessment, this is what it looks like now. Her new average is a 70. On top of that, in this little corner, there's like a gray triangle, which lets me know this is the grade that is being dropped. I do not know what any of the other colors at the top mean, but at the very least for assessments, this means this is the grade that should be dropped. Also, if you wanted to double check just to make sure that you actually dropped the correct grade, you can click on this G. When you click on the G, it'll take you to the grades for all of the students' classes. When you go ahead and click on your class average, it'll look like this. As you can see, the Zoom quiz is what was dropped. It even says dropped over here, and it still shows what score the student made on that quiz. You can also see that the assessment average is factored in as if that quiz never even happened. This will work for all of your classes, and that's pretty much it.